He took my baby. This is my baby daughter. Dominique Jefferson, 33 years old, a mother of three and newly engaged. On New Year's Eve, she received a proposal and a ring. Her mother watched the video, was happy for her daughter. And I thought she had found the man of her dreams. And it turned out it wasn't the man of her dreams. It was a nightmare of her life. He promised me he was going to take care of my daughter. He was going to cherish my daughter. You know, he was going to love her. He was going to be there for her, you know. And he lied. He lied. He killed my daughter. He don't deserve a bond. He don't deserve anything. Nobody deserves to die like that. 34-year-old Dominic Jefferson thought she met the man of her dreams in 39-year-old Kendra Kakins. Sure, happy new year. 2020, we apply pressure, pressure, pressure. After three months of dating, Kendrick proposed. Sadly, her fairy tale romance would take a deadly turn. She unknowingly was engaged to a man who had a history of violence, including an aggravated assault on a woman in 2008 and previous firearms and drug charges, who even once placed a loaded shotgun to a woman's head while she slept and pulled the trigger. Just three days after proposing to Dominic, he would shoot her dead. Why did he propose and claim to love her then take her life, and how could he take this mother away from her three children? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Houston, Texas. Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States. It is known for its diverse culture, thriving art scene, and strong economy. 34-year-old Dominic Jefferson met 39-year-old Kendrick Akins, and they fell in love. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing sh my way uh, or the highway. The two seemed to be very happy. Kendrick Akins was so smitten by Dominic that he decided to propose to her on New Year's Day. He proposed in front of friends and family, and the proposal was even live streamed on Facebook. He promised Dominic loved ones that he would take care of her, cherish, love, and be there for her. This appeared to be the happiest day of Dominic's life. She was so happy, posting her ring and engagement all over Facebook. Her mother was extremely excited for her and felt that her daughter had finally found someone who was going to love and protect her daughter. Those who knew her felt she deserved to be happy. Dominic Jefferson was a woman who was known for her big heart, loving nature, and kind spirit. She was deeply devoted to her three children and was a dedicated mother who always put the needs of her family first. Alongside being a mother, she was also a cherished daughter, granddaughter, and friend to those who knew her. She was a supportive and caring person, which is why those who met her instantly loved her. She was also a talented artist manager who had a passion for her job and loved what she did. Her warm personality and positive attitude made her well liked by everyone who knew her. Good morning. We want all the smoke. All the smoke. All the smoke. All the smoke. All of that. All the smoke. Gang, gang. <laughs> Dominic welcomed Kendrick into her family, and Kendrick appeared to have a relationship with her children, posting pics with them online. Unfortunately, nobody could predict the tragic events that would soon unfold. On January 4, 2020, just three days after Kendrick proposed to Dominic, he would do the unimaginable. On this day, Dominic and Kendrick got into a heated argument at their apartment in northwest Houston's 5500 block of Hollyview Drive. They got into a fight about a social media message he had received, and as a result, she broke off their engagement. Dominic's friend, who was present at the time, said that Kendrick grabbed Dominic's phone and threw it against a hard surface, damaging the phone. Dominic attempted to depart with her female friend to pick up the friend's boyfriend, but Dominic's vehicle would not start. Kendrick began looking under the hood, attempting to repair the vehicle, when Dominic yelled at him to leave her car alone. As they argued on, Kendrick took a firearm from his pocket, and Dominic said go ahead and shoot me. Kendrick, standing just five feet away, 
pointed the gun at Dominic and fired once, shooting her in the chest before he returned to the apartment. A neighbor who lived in a nearby apartment building said that he heard the altercation and the gunshot while on a back deck. He said that he hurried out of his apartment, went downstairs, and leaped a fence in order to check on the victim. When he arrived at the scene, he asked Dominic's friend what happened, and that is when Kendrick returned and began yelling at the guy. Kendrick then shot at the guy who quickly dove into some bushes and pretended to be dead. Kendrick then walked over to his fiancée's motionless body, took her cell phone and fled the scene. When officers arrived, they discovered Dominic dead on the ground. She didn't deserve this. He took my baby. This is my baby daughter. The family of Dominique Jefferson is heartbroken saying she was the woman shot and killed at the Hollyview Apartments around midnight Saturday. Nobody deserves to die like that. Police have not identified Jefferson as the victim, but say the victim and her boyfriend got in a fight. Police are questioning a person of interest who walked into an HPD patrol station Saturday afternoon. That man has not been charged, and police have not named him as a suspect. Jefferson's family says they never heard of any troubles in her relationship. In fact, they said her boyfriend just proposed to her days ago. He was very polite, very nice. Her family says Jefferson has three kids and ran a business to help African-American women succeed in the arts. I'm not gonna let her die in vain, but what I will do is celebrate her life as we, as we know it. A vibrant personality with a strong work ethic and a life cut short. Kendrick Aiken surrendered to officers at the Houston Police Department later that day. He was questioned by detectives and subsequently charged in the shooting, Kendrick who was originally on parole until March 2020, requested to be put in protective custody. He said his fiance has brothers in jail and that they made posts on social media that once in jail, they will attack him. The judge set his bail at $150,000 for the murder charge and $75,000 for the aggravated assault charge. Kendrick Aikens just appeared in court less than an hour ago. It was there that a judge decided to accept the state's request to increase that murder suspect's bond. Take a look at him walking into court this morning wearing orange and handcuffs. He was charged with murder and aggravated assault over the weekend, but it was this morning that his bond for the murder charge was raised from $150,000 to $250,000. Prosecutors had asked for the state to increase the two-time felon, excuse me, prosecutors had asked for the judge to increase the bond, stating that the two-time felon was a danger to the community. The judge also set those bond conditions today. Akins is not allowed to leave Harris County, use a weapon, or have contact with witnesses or the victim's family. He is accused of shooting and killing his fiance, 33-year-old Dominique Jefferson, last Friday over an argument that they had in the apartment complex that they both lived. We know that Akins had asked Jefferson to marry him just three days prior, according to her family. We are also told that prosecutors hope that this case will help someone else who is in a domestic relationship that could turn violent. What I will say is uh, this is clearly an epidemic. It's a social problem. If you're in that kind of relationship, please seek help. Go to the police. Um, you know, we want to help you. We do not want to see these cases end up in homicides. We did try after court to speak with Aikens' attorney. She did deny our comment, our, our request to comment. Uh, we know that his next court date will be set later today, as well as his request for protective custody. That will be discussed later today between both sides. We're told that he is concerned that re relatives of the victim could retaliate against him for this alleged crime. Kendrick had already been found guilty of a number of crimes, including an aggravated assault on a lady in 2008 and felon in possession of a firearm and methamphetamine in 2015. He was on parole when he murdered his fiance. Jurors were also informed that Kendrick claimed to have told others that he once placed a loaded shotgun to a woman's head while she was sleeping and squeezed the trigger, but the weapon did not fire. Kendrick Akins was convicted of murder. When the verdict was read, he passed out and suffered a seizure in the courtroom. He was later sentenced to life in prison. The jury also reportedly found that Aikens was a true habitual offender due to past violent crimes. Dominic Jefferson's friends and family held a vigil to honor her life. A legacy will be protected and we're going to keep on going. Our kids will be okay. Yes. We will be okay. One it was a celebration of life. Dominic Jefferson was a mother, daughter and sister. 
She was just 33 years old. My heart was big. Her heart was very big, especially towards me, her mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, she, she that was my baby girl. One, two, three. Jefferson's loved ones vowing to keep her memory alive and watch over her three children. We all trying to hold up, uh, doing the best we can. We're looking for all the prayers that we can get. What happened to Dominic Jefferson was a tragedy. This should have never happened to her, and now three kids are without a mother. This was a senseless act of violence. Kendrick Akins should have been able to control himself during an argument or simply just walked away, but pulling out a gun and taking Dominic's life should have never been an option, and now he has destroyed many lives including his own. My condolences to her friends and family. She should be here. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.